want to say these candles oh my goodness they are so loud so loud I understand I just filmed Sunday's video with that candle going in the background and I pray it did not sound as loud in in here as it did out here because wow I know some people might like that kind of sound but I really oh my goodness anyway g'day and welcome didn't change 
There were no tears, nothing. She just stared at me and she screamed her angry scream. And that was it. <laughs> so, uh, the good news is that I can now tell the difference between an angry scream and a just leave me alone, I'm tired, or, uh, you know, something is genuinely wrong kind of scream. But, um, with she's learning uh, how to crawl she's learning how to crawl she's discovered um, that she wants to stand up that she wants to move around that she wants to do specific things but she can't crawl yet and she can't walk yet so she's just getting really angry instead uh, today she got angry because I wouldn't let her eat the Aldi brochure that was on the floor Something that Whispers Red mentioned in one of her videos, she sort of, you know, does a bit of a, a self-hand massage when she's anxious or overwhelmed, and I found that I started doing it as well. It's very... holding your own hand and giving it a bit of a squeeze. Um, it's very cosy, very soothing. Um, I've been making it a priority to focus on my mental health.
grounded on throwing away our sinful natures and choosing to stand as we've been called. So, I've been struggling with anger a little bit recently, especially with Ruth discovering a tantrum setting. I'm learning how to control that as well and taking time to breathe to say no I'm going to choose a different response I'm not going to be angry I'm going to sit and be still and I'm going to choose peace we can't control the actions of other people. We can only control our own. So, that is something else that I've been working on. A few people have been giving feedback about the kinds of videos that we should do and uh, a few people noted the change in content for a while there. Most of the content on this channel was uh, pure Bible reading or Bible verse meditation or Bible studies, a more sermon kind of content. And at the moment it's not really that. Uh, the reason is because I don't have that, that quiet time to reflect and to just go through my thoughts and to just think about things. Um, I don't have a huge amount of time for dedicated Bible study. Previously, you know, in the morning I would spend up to an hour in Bible study. I'd be reading commentaries, I'd be journaling, I'd be praying, I'd just be thinking about what I read and then I'd perhaps be writing my ideas down for videos that I would film and now I don't have that time. Uh, now my Bible study is opening the Bible, reading maybe a chapter, doing some highlighting and some tiny little notes and then moving on with my day. I would absolutely love more time uh, but at the moment I can't really find more. So that is why the, the content has changed because instead of being, you know, deep philosophical sermon style content, it's shifted to being more relevant topics that are at the forefront of my brain that I have to think through during the day anyway. So then I come in here and I film and I can just film based on that. I was going to say without any preparation, as though I used to prepare for videos, but I didn't. Most of my videos were just I had an idea and I was like, oh yes, I can talk about that for half an hour. Um, but no, it was, um, yeah, previously I, I had a lot more time to focus on different things. So instead of it just being pure biblical content at the moment, it's now biblical content but how that relates to things coming up in my life like um, anger. The video for Sunday is going to be a guided meditation for anger specifically. Um, so yes, I am very hungry. I'm just going to go grab a muffin. Would you like one? <laughs> I'll be back in a second. just bumped you very aggressively, I'm sorry. I don't know if you could hear my stomach rumbling earlier. I can't even remember if I had lunch or not. Um, these muffins are a new invention of mine. I can leave the recipe in the description if you would like to try it, but um, these muffins taste like garlic bread. They're very yummy. I strongly recommend. Um, yes, there's cheese in there. Garlic, of course. Uh, there is the green stuff. Uh, I believe that's fresh 
silver beet from my dad's veggie garden. Um, what else is there? These were actually really quick throw together muffins. Normally, I make um, like cheesy mites scrolls. I don't know what the equivalent would be for people who don't live in Australia. Um, it's like a pastry. It's like a roll, but it's savoury. So you make a nice bread pastry. You cover it with um, cheese and Vegemite or pretty much anything. The last batch I made was tomato paste and cheese and sweet chilli. Um, and then you roll it up and you cut it out, bake it and you get these lovely little uh, rolls with yummy filling. But I didn't have the time to allow for all of the the dough rising and that kind of thing. So I made these um, same concept but it's a muffin base. You just chuck in whatever fillings you want. Um, so yeah I just used self-raising flour. I think two cups of self-raising flour. Um, there was milk involved but I've been making cheese. That's what I did last week. I made cheese at home it was turned out a very nice um cottage cheese and i had the i saved the whey from that so when you're making cheese you add acid or citrus in and it separates the curds and the whey you take the curds out and you you make cheese with them and the whey you can save and you can use whey as a substitute for milk in baking so these again had whey in them so these were very very cheap very easy to make i think the only things that were bought were the um the flour and the garlic um i think i used store-bought cheese as well i would have used the um cheese that i made but i wasn't sure how that would bake <laughs> so i'm not sure if you guys enjoy eating sounds so i'm going uh, you let me know in the comments, yay or nay for eating sounds. <laughs> okay, I think I have cured the stomach rumbling issue. The other thing that I was going to mention is that there are pros and cons to having the ability to edit videos. Uh, the pros are that it gives us more range with you know, backing noises, um, if we want to overlay rain or crinkling or other sounds, but yeah, the, uh, the downside uh, is that it does take more time for me to edit and upload because I've got to take the footage from the phone, got to make it upload to the computer. I don't know how quick or how slow that that will be. Then I've got to edit it, then I've got to upload it from there and do all of the work on the computer. So it's adding a very big middle step to the process, so we'll see how we go. But if you have specific ideas for things you would like to see, like, um, you know, meditations, guided meditations with overlaid, water, crinkle sounds, that kind of thing. Um, let me know, definitely, and I will do my best to make those things happen. We got a lot of brilliant responses on the poll. Um, I put up a little poll asking people what they would like to see improved in these videos. A few people said that sometimes the audio is too quiet. Um, Maybe I'm the only one, but I always turn my audio, like my volume up on the phone when I'm listening to ASMR videos and whenever I go into the videos that I post on my phone to check the audio, the audio is always at a perfectly fine volume. So I don't know if it's an issue with headphones or something, um, but yeah, they come out fine on my end, so... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what is happening there. Um, 
I'm really looking forward to posting more guided meditations uh, like I was originally posting, um, where it's the repetition of a specific verse and just, you know, spending time soaking in that verse, meditating on it, allowing the words to wash over us. I'm really excited to do that again, but I feel like at the moment I'm not in the best place to do that because I am a bit tightly wound <laughs> at the moment and I really need to dedicate time to relax, to unwind, to get to a place of peace and then film that kind of video because I 100% feel like in those kind of videos, the creator's um, energy comes across in it. Like if, if you've got uh, someone trying to do a calm, guided meditation, but you can see they're pretty tightly wound, it's not as relaxing for me because I'm watching it, but I'm feeling that you know, tightly wound and I'm not really able to unwind in that kind of atmosphere. I don't know, I'm sounding a bit out there with the words that I'm using. I hope you understand what I'm getting at. <laughs> so, I've also been really enjoying, um, I think the channel name is Clay ASMR. Um, the lady who runs Daily Bread ASMR has started a channel with her husband. Um, it's not specifically Christian focus, it's just general ASMR. It's really fun, it's really entertaining. I'll leave a link in the description for that as well. Have you noticed I always say I'll leave a link in the description and then I completely forget everything that I've said in the video? That's something else that I need to work on. <laughs> being more attentive and mindful of, you know, what I'm filming as well. So, this is going to be, I guess, not a slightly shorter video because we're over 20 minutes, but what I'm trying to say is I'm going to cut it off there because I now have to upload and edit the two videos for the week. I've got until 6 o'clock when my husband gets back with the baby. Um, it is 5.01 now, so I don't know if it's uh, transferring to you the, the time crunch kind of thing. <laughs> I don't intend for that. I will at some stage work out my schedules a bit better so that I do have more time to relax while filming. And I think that's what's really been missing in this scenario for me. I think before Ruth came along, this was my time to relax. I had all the time in the world. I could just sit and film and breathe and maintain that slow, collected pace. Um, but now I, I feel like the, the attitude of the videos or my attitude towards the videos has changed because I know there's a time limit. I'm trying to crush it all together, get as much work done as possible and I don't want that to convey in things like guided meditations. So, all of that to say that a lot of small changes are happening. There's a lot of things I still have to work on to make this channel run as smoothly as it possibly can, but we're getting there. So thank you for being patient. Thank you for joining and um, coming along on this very hectic ride with me. Um, please let me know your thoughts in the comments and I look forward to seeing you next time.